Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And for those of you who do celebrate Easter, I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections. We're going to be looking into the Divine Masculine Energy as well as the Divine Feminine Energy and what to expect or what might be coming up in the next week or so. Before we get into the reading, let me just mention real quick that I am still offering cord cutting sessions at a discounted price. It is $120 temporarily. Um, and this session will also include um, an earthbound spirit release session to make the cord cutting more successful for you. I will also be sending you an affirmation to make sure that your aura stays closed off to these energies as well in the future. And it also includes about a 30 minute video with feedback about your cord and just different types of information about your chakra systems, how you were affected by this negative cord of attachment, um, and just about the relationship, the connection with this person that we're cutting the cord with overall. Um, I also do use some tarot and oracle cards, so that too will be included in your video. If you are interested, please just email me and I will send you everything that you need to know. We've been having really positive results so far and a lot of people are even getting signs after their cord has been cut um, as a confirmation. So it really is, I think, a great experience and also very healing as well. All right, so let's get back to this reading. So it is going to be a general reading, which means it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, so with all of that said, let's get into it. Let's see. We're going to start by getting some oracle cards for the masculines. All right, so let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. All right, we have the number 19, which is rest and rejuvenation. Let me just get one or two more. And then I will explain. All right, and we have the number three, which is the waxing croissant moon realization. All right, so it might appear like the masculine at the moment is pretty passive, right? Not doing much, not taking much action. They may have even like retracted um, a little bit away from, from the connection. So they are taking a break, but it's not, it's not really all that passive. It's productive, all right? There's something here that they are realizing almost as if they're meditating and it might not even be on a conscience level exactly but it's like through this break or pause that they are in it's like there's some subconscious meditation that's going on which is helping them to have some major realizations especially concerning the connection with their with their divine feminine so it could even be that there are certain things happening also in the 3D, which is causing them to have this realization, um, especially if there's a threat of losing the Divine Feminine, all right? That would also do it. So let's get into the tarot. So let's see what is going on with the Divine Masculine overall. One sec because we just got like half the deck here let me just get the first two that definitely wanted to come out and let me just get one more one more please for three. there we go all right so we have the lovers the high priestess and the ace of cups and they all came out upright um, all right, so the masculine is very much in this lover's mode here, which means that this is something, this realization, right, the rest that they are taking, the break that they are taking, they're having a big realization concerning 
their connection with their divine feminine. For some of them, this could definitely be um, concerning just love overall in general, all right, especially if there is a third party involved, which I know is the case for many of you, all right, and this is why we have the Ace of Cups at the end here, because their focus right now is on love. Who is it that I feel this divine, pure love for, all right? And then we have the High Priestess right smack in the middle because it's like their intuition is at a peak right now, okay? Which is very well fitting with this rest and rejuvenation card, what I was saying before. It's like there's this energetic subconscious meditation that's going on, which is bringing them a lot of realizations, and these realizations are about love and especially unconditional and divine love. So the masculine knows exactly where this is, and it's with their divine feminine. So let's see more specifically their energy towards their feminine. What is their energy towards their feminine currently? Let's see, what are they thinking? What's going on in their headspace? We have the Hierophant in reverse, Temperance, and the Two of Wands in reverse. So the masculine is really thinking about um, their core beliefs and traditions, society, culture, all the ways in which they have been influenced externally, right? Societal conditioning, their upbringing, things that you know they believe to be true, things that they believe to be right. So they're thinking that everything they have known possibly is not exactly resonating with them anymore. And this is a very tough, um, it's a tough energy to deal with. It's very difficult to release old systems and everything you have thought to be true. So. I don't know what the challenge is going to be for each of you specifically. It's going to be different, obviously. But I'm getting that for this particular masculine, there's a lot to do with societal expectations, which in turn turned into their own expectations for their own, for their own self, which may have also been a barrier um, to their connection with their feminine. So that's why we have temperance here, because it's a difficult energy to deal with. And it's like they're trying to kind of... Um, find that balance between who they thought they were or how they thought they should how they thought they should do things and then how they're truly feeling having this realization now about true love and not only that realizing how important it is that it's not just something that you can ignore a lot of these masculines may have also had some tendency for like extreme behavior um, I don't know why I'm getting that but that's what I'm getting um, definitely doesn't have to be for our all of you so it's like they're trying to really find that balance so that they don't um, act in extreme ways or overreact in certain things just really trying to keep that peace <clears throat> um, I feel like there's also this realization here right for what they're thinking in terms of not wanting to wait not wanting to be stagnant anymore based off of social conditioning or traditions, cultural issues, beliefs, whatever. So let's see what's going on with them emotionally. get any other cards we only got one and when that happens it means that this card spirit really wants me to emphasize it all right um, it's death in reverse so emotionally here's the thing with this is that it could be that for some of you it may feel like there has been an ending or for some of the masculines it might feel like there has been an ending in this connection um, it, it's not. It's not an ending. And so even though things on the surface for some of you might feel like there is 
an ending or that, you know, maybe there needs to be an ending, they're feeling like it's just not. This is not something that they can just release. And why is that? Because they're having this realization that this is the pure, unconditional love and they can feel that intuitively that this is what they would want. So I feel like this is really like the focus um, of today's reading is just this big realization about love and their emotions and what it is that they feel and that a lot of their um, barriers were really just external factors, right? Other people's beliefs, society's beliefs, and that it's just a cultural or um, a societal norm that had been keeping them stuck and not being able to move forward. That's what was keeping them back. And so I feel like right now they're just really trying to process that and emotionally knowing that this connection will never be done. Even if they have tried to just release it in the past, it will never be done. That's what they're feeling emotionally here. So um, let's see, do we want to clarify anything? Actually, like, I just want to clarify the second row with the Hierophant and Temperance. Let's see. Because that first row, I mean, it's so crystal clear. Let's see, the second row, the Hierophant, Temperance, and the Two of Wands in reverse. here. So we have the Four of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so yes, this is exactly what is on their mind. So, I mean, they are really having a lot of clarity here. So what they're realizing here is that, just even more specifically, is that these societal norms and, you know, following the traditions or following, you know, what society thinks is right for them or, you know, even if they had adopted these beliefs for their own selves, that Hierophant in reverse, it's, that's what's leading them to be unhappy. That is what is creating this discontentment of not having their Ten of Cups. And what they're realizing is, is that they're very unhappy without that love in their life, without that Ten of Cups. Um, so again, I feel like, yeah, they're just really trying to process all of this <clears throat> and just maintain some kind of peace. So again, if for some of you, you feel like your masculine is keeping their distance, it's because they're really, really processing this realization, which again, it's it's not easy. It might sound simple, but it's it's not, especially when it comes to, um, you know, societal norms that they have been conditioned to follow and to take on as their own. But they know they've been procrastinating. They know that time is passing. And they know that this connection is just never going to be, it's just never going to be done. It's not over. Um, they don't want it to be. So, let's, let's pull a few cards for the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. So what is going on with the Divine Feminines here? <clears throat> Alright, we have Broken Heart. And let's get one more from this deck. I love this new deck, by the way. Um, well, it's new for me. It's the Queen of the Moon Oracle, in case any of you were interested, by Stacey DeMarco. All right, so let's see, for the feminines. All right, and we have the number eight, which is the waxing croissant. It has also a six, because this was a waxing croissant as well, but it was the number one, all right, for the masculines. And for the feminines, it's six, which is the path. And then we also got one more here, which is the number two and waxing gibbous two, okay, um, which is fear. All right, feminines. 
So I feel like you have gone through a lot of pain and for some of you, you might still be feeling this pain, okay? That's why we have broken heart. Um, and it's going to be for at different intensities I'm getting for each of you. Like, I don't feel like it's that intense for all of you. For some of you, it is it is more, okay? It really depends on where you are on your path and what phase you are in. And sometimes we go through cycles. Like, you know, it can be more intense one time and then, you know, we might go through it again and it might be less intense and then go back to being intense, okay? So know that that is normal, okay? Um, I feel like at the moment, yes, there is something that may have caused you a little bit of a broken heart, maybe a lot, okay? It really, again, it depends. Especially now, there are other times where I say, oh, it's intense, but this time I feel like it it's really going to be different for each of you. And what Spirit is trying to say here is that this is part of your path. This is, you are still on the right path. Um, regardless of what it is that has created this broken heart. I feel like for a lot of you, you know, it might be that, you know, you're just accepting that, you know, the situation is what it is and that acceptance in and of itself can be very, very painful. Like accepting that this is the path, in other words. And then for others of you, there might be some fear attached to that. I do feel like for the most part, um, a lot of the feminines are breaking out of that fear. All right, because this fear card, it also calls on you to have strength and courage to release the fears. The fear of, you know, what might happen, what might come next, you know, where is this heading? Are we still on the path? Am I going to feel this broken heart forever? That's all based in fear. For some of you, again, this is going to be more intense. For others of you, it's going to be um, more conscience. And then for others, it might even, even be working at a more subconscious level. All right, so let's see. What wants to come through for the feminines just in general? The Eight of Swords in reverse, okay, good. The Three of Wands, and which is also in reverse, and the Ace of Swords, which is upright. Okay, good. I'm glad to see this because this is telling me that, yes, you are overcoming that fear. You are getting yourself unstuck. Like, if there have been, if there has been um, a lot of negative thought patterns that may have been, like, repeating themselves over and over and over again in your head, you're breaking away from that. You're also detaching yourself from the negative aspects, right? The negative attachment to the connection with the masculine. And it doesn't mean that you're not feeling some kind of pain, right? Some kind of broken heart. But I feel like, again, that's why I'm saying it's it, the intensity is going to vary for each of you. Now, you're breaking away from this by not waiting for the masculine to do whatever it is that they need to do. All right, that's why the Three of Wands is in reverse. You're taking action. You're following whatever it is that is in your truth, whatever it is that is in your alignment. It's like you're holding on to your sword. Like, you know, I got to do me. And I have to follow my truth. And if, you know, my truth is not to just sit around and wait. I feel like you're having some realizations here as well, especially in terms of, you know, um, how waiting may have kept you stuck. So it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that you can't hope, right, that this will come together, but you're not actively waiting. It's more of passively waiting in the good sense. <laughs> um, it's like having that patience for things to just work out in the way that they are going to without having expectations and without obsessing over it. Releasing the fears. That's really what this is. So you can also take this as encouragement or as guidance, okay, to release that fear 
of feeling like, you know, you're going to have a broken heart all the time, or the fear of the masculine, you know, not coming forward of what that would mean. You would be okay even if the masculine doesn't. That's the point here. Let's get one more row for the feminines. Alright, we have the Magician in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I love that we have two Aces, alright? The one right under the other. Yeah, this is you not trying to manifest this anymore. Releasing that burden. That was weighing heavy on you. Like, just the idea of um, trying or putting in effort or just trying to manifest this, you know, just exerting so much energy to this connection or, you know, to there being a union or for the masculine to do, again, whatever it is that they need to do, um, you're releasing that. You're not trying to control the situation anymore. And because of that, that is opening up the path. See, just like I said, releasing the fear coming out of that eight of, um, eight of swords, coming out of the waiting, it's opening up a path for you, a path of truth, the Ace of Swords. And then it's also opening up the path to potentials in your physical world for commitment, for something long-term, for something very stable. So that's the message here. And I know it's a very classic message, but apparently that's what Spirit wanted me to get um, out here today. Because sometimes a reminder can be useful, even when it's things that we already know. Okay, so let's see what is coming up in the next week or so for the masculines. What are they moving towards? Wow, Spirit's like, you're keeping this short today. We just got one, and it is the Hermit in reverse. Okay, so wanting to come out of this Hermit mode, right? Like I said, I feel like um, for the most part, these masculines in this group at least have maybe pulled their energy back a little bit, right? They're resting, they're rejuvenating. It's like there's this meditation that is happening. I feel like most of them won't even be able to explain it, but they can feel something happening. They can feel their intuition at work here with the High Priestess. And it's, for some of them, it might even feel a little bit foreign or just strange. And so they're keeping this to themselves. Um, but coming up in the next week or so, with the Hermit being in reverse, I feel like they're ready to come out of their shell. So you might see more activity from them towards you overall, okay, depending on what your interaction has been like. Um, you, I feel like you're just going to feel their energy more or you might just get more interaction from them in any in any way okay so they might even open up to you about some of these things that they have been that they have been feeling okay so let's see for for the feminines what is coming up for the feminines please The Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it's like the same message over and over again. You are releasing. You are releasing here with this Four of Pentacles. It's like you're not holding on to this so tightly as before, you know, like that this is my one and only, and if I don't have this, you know, then I don't know what. You're, you're taking a step back here, all right, with the Eight of Wands being in reverse. Um, not putting in that effort. So I feel like you're just pretty much continuing this. And again, take it as encouragement or guidance if you don't feel like you're at this point here. Okay, so doing this, again, look at the last card. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's creating a shift. That is what is going to create a shift here. So if your energy shifts, it just creates a shift. It's like a domino effect, which will only bring in um, positive results. So, 
Yeah. This is really, really positive, right? Releasing, not holding on to this, not trying to m manipulate, even if it's in a positive way, you know, the situation. I just had the observe card flip over. So yes, I do feel like there is a lot of observing that is happening, especially on the masculine side. But let's see, what message does Spirit have for us to close out this reading? And we have TikTok. Things are speeding up. It might feel like it is slow at the moment, all right, as I said, um, but things are speeding up. The pace is getting faster here, okay? Certain things are just a matter of time. And really, you know, things begin to pick up speed when we don't really care for them to pick up speed anymore. It's kind of like, you know, like the water never boils when you're watching it or when you're impatient. So I feel like that is the message here, which is just really reflecting everything I was saying about the feminines, right? And releasing, releasing the, um, the impatience or the wanting so intensely and things are moving along. So yeah, I think that is it for this time. I know it was a little bit short, um, but things are still a little bit crazy here for me. I will try to get a longer video out hopefully next week. And that is it. I am sending you guys so much love and I thank you so much for watching. Bye.